Hi students, welcome to my YouTube channel once again, Learn Dentistry and today the topic will be from Clinical Medicine that is a third year uh, subject. So the unit one, unit two is about this disorders of GIT. For studying disorder, we should know the normal anatomy and physiology of GIT. So here's the part one, let's begin. Uh, studying the definition, the DIT is a coordinating structure which performs the function of digestion, ingestion, absorption of nutrients and excretion of unabsorbed products as waste products or fishes. Moving forward, uh, we will be studying about control and coordination of GIT, GIT hormones, motility, defecation, secretions, absorptions, defense mechanism, immune system and response. In this part one, we will be studying up to secretions. Starting with the control and coordination, it is done by the nerve plexus, which is control, uh, which control ANS controls these plexus. The nerve plexus is controlled by ANS via nerve parasympathetic nerves and sympathetic nerves. Parasympathetic means vagus nerves. Now there are two plexus, two nerve plexus, uh, which is mesenteric and mesoners. Um, it is conti continue from upper oesophagus plexus to anus and is situated between the layer of smooth muscle fibers and walls. And uh, Mishner's is present only in small and large intestine. Now we will be studying uh, uh, now the parasympathetic system acts as a stimulatory and sympathetic system acts as an uh, inhibitory action. Moving further to GIT hormones that are peptides. Now there are two, uh, we can categorize the hormone as upper part hormones and lower part hormones. Lower part hormo hormones are of ileum and colon. So studying about the upper part, uh, there are secretin, cholecystokinin and motility. These three are the main hormones which are secreted. Then it stimulates secretions plus motility as soon as the food is ingested. As soon as food is ingested, these upper part hormones starts to secrete and lower part hormone that is from ileum and of ileum and colon, neuter, neurotensins, peptide YY and antroglucagons, which are inhibitory to secretion and motility. So upper part hormones are stimulatory to secretions and motility and lower part is inhibitory and it is released as soon as food enters the ileum. Moving further to motility of GIT. Motility of GIT is by the contractions of smooth muscles. Now the Oesophagus. We will be studying first about the um, smooth muscle motility. Oesophagus is guarded by two spinster and it is done by per peristalsis movement. Upper spinster and lower spinster. Upper spinster is formed by cricopharyngeal muscles keep close to close except soloing. Except soloing. Uh, during swallowing, it is closed while it is open. Once upper spinster is relaxed, parasalsis steps food and swap along the esophagus. And lower spinster is made up by the part of esophagus and it has a high resting tension. And both upper and lower spinster both are controlled by nervous plus as well as hormonal mechanism. Now, what about the stomach? We study about smooth muscles. What about stomach? As food arrives, normal tonic contractions of fundus of stomach is inhibited through vagal 
reflexes now when food arrives in to the stomach the normal tonic contraction of uh, which are happening in fundus will be stopped will be inhibited through vagal reflexes then gastric slow wave starts to control the direction and frequency of antral peristalsis the duodenal mucosa controls the gastric emptying by the local reflexes and release secretin cholecystokinin and other hormones now studying about the small intestine the coordination of small intestine is due to wave initiated by interstitial cells of kajal in a uh, small intestine the slow waves are initiated which are initiated by the pacemakers of small intestine which are interstitial cells of kajal studying about colon there are two main contractions in colon what is segmentation and second one is mass movement segmentation implies the formation and disappearance of constrictions rings occurring over long period uh, segmentation uh, we can know about from its name only that it will be contraction will be occurring in segments so there will be uh, form once formation and then disappearance of the constriction rings which will occur over a long period and there is no propulsion of fishes in case of segmentation contraction and in mass movement it occurs several time in a day and action eliminates the fishes the mass movement contractions type of contractions eliminates now the food has come to the colon and there is defecation what is defecation the arrival of fishes loads the rectum which produces sensation of fullness and a desire to defecate during this what happens the cortical inhibition occurs during defecation during this process the fullness the, uh, the load of rectum due to fishes there is cortical inhibition and there is voluntary increase in intra abdominal pressure then ultimately at uh, the anal sphincter muscles of pelvic floor relaxes and there is relax con reflex contraction of pelvic colon and rectum with relaxation of external anal sphincter which causes the defecation moving for forward to secretions there are two type of secretions that is gastric secretions and pancreatic secretions gastric secretions contains acids and peptin it contains acids and peptin which are secreted by parietal cells and peptic cells the proton pump is the final pathway of acid secretion acid the acid and pepsin are secreted by proton pump pathway which is the final pathway it is initiated uh, when it is initiated it is initiate inhibited when food reaches the duodenum this process the secretion of acid and pepsin inhibited when food reaches the duodenum and secretes other hormones like secretin which slows the emptying of stomach now second is pancreatic it is alkaline and isotonic to plasma main ions are biocarbonates sodium and potassium so the pancreatic juice is alkaline and isotonic to plasma main ions which consist of uh, pancreatic juices is bicarbonate sodium and potassium it contains three types of enzymes that is amylase lipase and trypsin amylase helps to digest carbs carbohydrates lipase digest or metabolize fats and trypsin for protein the endocrine tissue consists of islets of langerhans cells a cells that are alpha 
cells produces insulin and these cells that is delta cells produces gastrin stomatotensin and pancreatic polypeptides so uh, thank you for watching my video this is the end of part 1 part 2 will be uploaded soon